Welcome back. It is cooking time with HEV. We've got Chef Linda in the house today, and you are helping us step up our burger and bean game. We're talking next level here. Definitely, and so simple at the same time. We have the marinades on sale, buy one, get one free from Cookwell and Company. So I pulled out the Bakken Brown sugar marinade, and we're gonna use it with the pinto beans. Simple, five ingredients and go. So you already have the pinto beans in there. Right. We cook the bacon and we're going to put it in. You bake this bacon. I did. If you notice, it's a little more even um, on the color and it's cooked completely. So definitely want to throw that in the oven. Picked up the pico de gallo from the produce department and we're going to add a half a bottle of that Bakken Brown sugar marinade. We're using that in the beans to make it flavor. So it's not just a marinade, you can do something with a protein ahead of time. Mm -hmm. You can also use it in recipes and that's what we're showing to expand the um, cooking knowledge of our customers. And one final ingredient. The house rub, salt, pepper, and roasted garlic to give extra flavor. So you see it just took a few minutes to put together and simple to elevate the flavor of your beans without doing much work. Great, let's talk about the burgers. Okay, have you ever been somewhere where they have the best burger but you don't know what they've done? Well, they've put a little bit of marinade. I'm doing a quarter cup per pound and a little house rub. Then you form them into your patties. Mix it in. If you go over a quarter cup, you tend to um, get it too wet and your burger will fall apart. So that's what you're going to do is you're going to flavor it, cook it up, and then you're going to end up with a better tasting burger. And again, this is the garlic and molasses, so it's one of the buy one, get ones as well. And I noticed that you were being very gentle as you were forming that patty. You're not smushing everything together. Definitely. You don't want to smush it together. You want to form it you also want to leave it out a little bit before you grill it because that way it's going to stay nice in the size instead of shrinking up as well. So if you want a good looking medium burger, cook it for how long on each side? Um, depends on your grill. You're looking four to five minutes depending on the heat. You want to keep it to medium, medium high. Okay. And last but not least, let's work our way down the table Definitely. here. Um, I always like to bring something new. So I found over on our chip aisle a French onion soup chip as well as a Thai chili basil. Ooh. And I've already been sampling both and they are out of this world. They are delicious. And of course, you can't have a barbecue without, oh, I don't know. Of course not. A refreshing adult yes. beverage. So we have these margaritas from Rancho La Gloria. They are a wine cocktail. They are 13% alcohol. You don't have to add anything to it. Mango, strawberry, and lime. You can mix it with like an Italian soda, a little bit of um, a water, or even just a 7-Up. If you want to dilute it a little bit, just straight out of the bottle, even poured over ice. That's all you need. Find it in the cooking connection. Uh, but there was one thing Thing that folks shouldn't do is put that in the blender with ice. Why not? Right, because it will dilute it. If you do want it um, frozen, take it out of the bottle, pour it into a pitcher, put it in the freezer. This bottle will not go in the freezer. It will break. I've had people tell me stories. All right, Chef Linda keeping it fast and easy for us. Thanks so much. If you'd like to check out these recipes, just head on over to our website, clicktohouston.com.